question, last question. Uh, are you all retired, and how often do you see each other? Well, um, in this, one of the great things about being an actor is there's no mandatory retirement age. So you go until you absolutely can't. And when I mean, you ask if we're still doing things, uh, Ted and I, in this last year, and it was mostly occasioned by the pandemic when so many actors like ourselves were thrown out of work, formed this limited liability company with a couple of other people that we know and have worked with. And um, our whole plan was to start helping regional theaters, small regional theaters that were going broke during the pandemic because if you can't get people into the theater, you can't make any money. And a lot of them were dying. So we, our collective minds got together and said, we've got to find a show that can comply with COVID protocols, won't be hard to produce, can travel. And the show that we came up with was a show that James Whitmore had done 50 years ago called Give Him Hell Harry, which is about Harry Truman. And uh, so we, we started doing it. I was playing Harry Truman. And Ted and I just were in Indiana. He just directed me in Give Him Hell Harry. Uh, there and we've done it all over over the country. He and I were going to go out and tour in a wonderful play called On Mount Rappaport, which we had done in Syracuse, but of course the pandemic put the kibosh on that. So the answer is yes, and and that is really unique, Duvall, because I mean there are there's camaraderie with other shows, but I I you know Bernie has been in Ted's place. I go to see. Ted's place. I was just talking to Cindy about doing a play together. Um, so, I mean, this is this is an ensemble that has never disbanded, and I don't Amen. think it will. And we never will. Now, okay, I will. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody's a director. Anyway, just a few weeks uh, before coming here, I was doing a play in New York. So, you know, the question, do you, would you ever think about retiring? I said, God will tell me when I can retire. I will never retire voluntarily. Anyway. <laughs> when was the last time I smacked you? <laughs> well, that was, that was great fun. And before I did that play, I played a Catholic priest on uh, Gray's Anatomy. Any rabbis out there? I did not convert. I just want you to know. I'm, I'm not retired. I'm... Uh, um, at least not by choice. Um, I work for Princess Cruises, obviously, as a Celebrations Ambassador, which has just been an amazing, amazing opportunity. Um, and I'm also writing and producing as well, and I have some projects that are um, in a very exciting place. So, one of them involves NASCAR. Um, I know, me, NASCAR? I like you. <laughs> Um, and then there's a few others that uh, are in a really exciting place development-wise that I'm hoping to share soon. Tell them about the thing we did together, the pilot. Tell me about oh. the thing you guys did together, the pilot. So, I have a writing partner uh, named Leah Mangum. Her husband is Jonathan Mangum. For anybody who watches Let's, Let's Make, Make a, a Deal. Deal. Yeah. So, uh, Leah and I wrote a pilot uh, that's called Take It From The Top. It's on YouTube. That. Mr. Lange was our dramaturg and also directed the show, and uh, he is obviously amazing. But it's a fun, it's a fun show, and it's got some great people in it, so including this one. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 if I can, I'm, I have to say a word about Bernie's show. The title of the show is called Two Jews Talking. <laughs> it's Bernie and Hal Linden. <laughs> Okay? Between the two of them, they are 200 years old. <laughs> All right? Now, at it's, least. It's two small one act plays. It runs about 70 minutes. And Ted's seen it. And it's hysterical. Okay? And it's two of, let's be honest, two comic legends. Okay? 
So, listen to this. Will you put that in writing? Yeah. <laughs> I've been saying to Bernie since he went on the ship, I said, Bernie, this is the perfect place to do that show. Yeah. It's yeah. easy to produce. You could do it out, you wouldn't even need to do it in a big stage like this. You could do it out where, where Ted so embarrassed himself on the on <laughs> still out here. But, I, I, I say, you know, it's, 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 it's only 70 minutes, about the length of a, of a club act. And I said, why not? And he, he said, oh, well, I'm terribly concerned that there would be anti-Semites in the audience. And I would I, like all of the anti-Semites to stand up now, please. <laughs> And tell Bernie that you'll never come and see his show. <laughs> Are you kidding me? This is Bernie Coppell. This is not some schmuck. <laughs> well, I take that back, because I know him better than you do. <laughs> but no, I mean, really, this show is so perfect for something like this. Are you kidding me? Hell ended? Bernie Coppell on a cruise? You would have come see that? Thanks, Mom. <laughs> and, and, you know, I, I, first of all, are there really any anti-Semites left that have come, come to see this one? <laughs> Please. I mean, it's not, it's not... You're not asking him to perform a bris or anything. It's just... <laughs> anyway. yeah. right. Let me get back to these questions. Let me get back to these questions. Ask questions too. Let me get back to these questions. Did you all steal anything from the ship? Did you? Did you? Did you keep any souvenirs from from the years while you were? Um, Lauren, she, she Lauren wants it. I'm not gonna call it stealing. Probably <laughs> borrowed it. But on the la when the very end of the show, like when we actually wrapped and they tore down the set all around us and gave us sandwiches on a paper plate and said, oh yeah, thanks. Remember that day? <laughs> I took a set piece that, uh, you may recall, I was replaced by Judy McCoy. So the cruise director's door now at the end said, Jay McCoy, just in case it was either one of us, I guess. And so I, took, I have a sign that says, Jay McCoy, cruise director. <laughs> When you direct a show, I was lucky enough to direct television, and the first show I directed was on Love Boat. Um, they, you've seen those clappers? Yeah. Uh, I didn't steal this, but this is a wonderful <laughs> tradition that they do in show businesses. When it's your first directorial uh, effort, they give you the clapper with the last scene and act on the clapper and then the crew signs it all right and so i've i've got that and i just have to say my first um scene was with fred that i directed my first scene was with fred and Susan Strasberg, okay? So this is the first time, I've, I've been directing theater for years, but this was my first television directing thing. I was a little nervous. We rehearsed the scene, and I noticed that Susan Strasberg missed a beat that was a comedic beat. So I said, well, uh, I'm not going to go tell her. Her father's Lee Strasberg, one of the <laughs> premier guys in acting. So we'll just rehearse it again because she'll see the beat. We rehearsed it again. She missed it again. Oh, man. I'm going to actually have to... Direct I'm going to have to direct her. <laughs> So I went over to Susan Strasberg, the daughter of Lee Strasberg. And I said, Susan, there's this beat here. Uh, could you hit that beat there when we do the scene again? And it seemed like an hour had gone by before she answered me. <laughs> but it was only five seconds or whatever. And she said, yeah, sure, of course. 
Well, after that, I was gold, baby. <laughs> hey, and we rock and roll. I gotta, I gotta tell you this about uh, Teddy's uh, direction. He campaigned, I think, for years. Please let me direct. And they said, mm, well, I don't know. And they just did not let him direct. Finally, they said, okay, you can direct. So he's directing this particular uh, scene between Alejandro Rey and a beautiful lady. And he is a swordsman. Not necessarily in that sense. <laughs> but he is suspecting me of having some interest in his girlfriend. So he's supposed to be chasing me and I hide under, under an area and his line is supposed to be, you lily-livered coward, which is not easy for anyone to say. So it gets to that point, he's almost got me and he says, you lily living comma. <laughs> so Teddy says, uh, cut. Come on, come on, we're using a lot of time here. Do it again, okay. Action. You living loving, the line, the loop. So Mr. Lange says, Alejandro, come here. Whisper something in his ear and the scene continues. Okay, action. And he gets to that point again and he says, because of what Ted whispered in his ear, You big chicken! The name of the episode? Do you remember the name of the episode? Which ones they were? Um, which one? The one that we were talking about. The one... Uh, I, do you remember the name of the episode? Uh, I don't remember you. <laughs> no, you know what? Uh, they kind of mush together at a certain they point do. in yeah. your memory. You have two seasons. I can't even remember the name of the Pointer Sister episode. <laughs> and I wrote it. <laughs> Ed. Just, he is one of the most brilliant directors for so Amen. Amen many reasons. He comes to work so prepared for every scene. He has such incredible comedic timing. He is an actor's director. He is so generous to his actors. He makes it a safe space to try things and to make mistakes and figure out.